What's going on, tool groupies? I'm the Backwoods Mechanic. I'm also known as the Backwoods Hippie. So I've got a page on Facebook called the Backwoods Hippie Garage. If you want to see whatever I'm doing that I don't post here on YouTube, then go over there and check that page out, like it, follow it, because I'll post pictures. Sometimes I'm working on industrial machines, boats, automotives. I do a little bit of everything. So if you want to keep up with what I'm doing besides the tool reviews, go over there and check that out. And if you're into politics and making America great again, then just check out facebook.com slash backwoods hippie. And we'll go from there. But today, we're going to be doing a new kind of review. It's a toolbox review. With my brand new toolbox here that I just picked up from Lowe's. At a really reasonable price. And the number one reason why I wanted to buy this box because it's a good price. Craftsman has always been a pretty decent product and it's made in the USA. So let's get this toolbox review started. Now this one's gonna be my personal toolbox for home. The wife got sick of me having stuff scattered all over the place and my variety of boxes so she bought me another one so that I can keep it handy and everything in the house that I want in the house. Got the one in the garage, got the one in my mobile van, all that good stuff. So this one is going to be my brand new one. Anniversary present, actually. Of course, it's made by Craftsman. I picked it up at Lowe's for less than $400. It was like $380, I think, tax and all. It's got a 10-year warranty on it. Five drawers, 26 inches wide, five drawer tool chest, soft close ball bearing slides, 100 pound drawer capacity and of course 5,840 inches to the third capacity specifications of course it tells you all this good stuff here how to pack it not to pack it proudly made in the US of A with global materials so craftsman has brung back certain manufacturing to the United States and these toolboxes are one of them which I'm really glad because there's a big difference in the Chinese made toolboxes and the American made toolboxes. The gray one that I had that I was keeping stuff in in the house, I now threw it in the back of my pickup truck. That way I can leave it in there, lock it up. But it's got that really flimsy, thin Chinese made steel. This, I have a feeling from the display at Lowe's, it's going to be a really nice, tough, durable box. And this is part number CMST. 22652RB. All the information for this toolbox will be in the link in the description box below. Down here, it tells you 26 inch wide, five drawer rolling tool cabinet. Soft close ball bearing slides, 100 pound drawer capacity, 650 pound on the casters, 8,082 inch capacity. Now let's go ahead and get these things open and see what we got. But before we do that, here's the product number for the chest. It's CMST22752RB. Now right here on the top of the box, we'll open up the chest first. It says 10-year limited warranty. We build pride. Now if they give a 10-year warranty, I guarantee this toolbox will last me for a long time. This will probably be something I pass on to somebody. Within 10 years, if product fails to perform due to defects in material or workmanship, we will replace the defective part. This warranty does not apply to the product that is damaged or altered oh, through transportation, misuse, abuse, corrosion, la da 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 Either way you go about it, 10-year warranty, if you treat it right, they'll take care of you. Let's say that the, the casters break, they'll replace them. If the drawer slides break, they'll replace them. Made in America. We open up the lid to the box, and as you, I can already see, the keys to the chest are taped to the lid. It has its own keys for the chest and its own key for the actual top. I'm sorry, it's the cabinet. Cabinet. Chest is next. There we go. Let's 
and black tape. And there's our keys. Remove our styrofoam here. Oh yeah, I'm ready to pull this thing out. But now the best way to do this, folks, flip it on its side after you open up the top here. Pull the bottom of the box open. Set it to the side. Set it back up. Pull the box off. Because whenever you open it from the bottom, you're going to have to add the casters yourself. So you open the bottom up. And then you run your fingers up through the side here, like I've done. And then, voila. All you got to do is lay it back. And you'll have access to your toolbox. You can get your casters out, you get all your stuff, start putting your wheels together. Now in order to get those out, you got to open up your keys, set it back up. Let's go ahead and get a look at her. Sitting there, looks great. We'll go ahead and unlock her. Whips all the way around. Oh yeah. You got to actually jerk it, and it'll slow down right before it closes, but you... Got to put some force on it. That way you can't just yank it open and slam it. Like that. Nice and smooth. Get to the bottom drawer. Oh yeah, there's our parts. It comes with a nice mat that'll go on top of the chest. It comes with your Craftsman Owner's Manual, which we'll set up there. Now... If you want to turn it into a service cart, all you got to do is add your service cart bar, which is right there. And this should be the casters. Get our tape off the box here. And of course, there they are. And there's our casters. Now, I do like the design. I have many, I've been through many, many casters in my time doing different jobs for folks. And this particular design is a little bit stronger than most. Makes the metal stronger. They got the uh, nice shiny wheels here, nice shiny chrome. Really hard plastic as opposed to steel. Of course, it's got the bearing on the inside. It'll be perfectly fine to hold this cart. Those are our stationary, stationary ones. Now, these right here is your swivel wheel. As you can see, it's got the little ball bearings right there. It's a swivel caster, and of course, it's got the lock. So, if you want to lock it in place, two of these will go on one side. The stationary will go on the other. So, you can move it, lock it those and it comes with a bag of screws that you'll need for it now whenever you flip it back over on its side again you'll notice that these do come off that's where your caster is going to go in at it's already got the holes for it for the screws to go in so i've got my craftsman spinner handle and i've got a 3h drive socket and we're going to put our casters on now of course you put your straight ones on your left side and then air swivels are going to go on the right side just hold them in place get your screw started there get your nut driver whatever it is you're using set them in place loosen them you know make sure they're nice and loose line everything up then go back and tighten them after they're all on which by all means the easy way is going to be flipping this thing on its top that way you can see the holes accurately and make sure everything's good and lined up set your casters down of course put your screws in now once that's done we flip her over now once it's on its top we lay down our nice black craftsman mat well, if this is a service cart you got it for your tools as a service cart and then we'll add her handle Screw part number W17716. And then all you need is a flathead or Phillips screwdriver. In this case, I ain't got my Craftsman handy because they're in my truck, but I do got my Snap-on handy, so we will use it. And then, of course, you screw them in. 
tighten them up and your handle will be in place and ready to use as a service cart and of course she's ready to go she rolls really good really smooth and there is her chest now I went ahead and pulled the top half out of the box and as you can see here we go I've got my chest and my box there's one two three four five five drawers five drawers I got ten drawers here and a lid the lid has hydraulic arms on it the gasmatic tile arms like you'd find on the back of a van hatch or you know things like that 10 year warranty on them if they go bad they'll replace them so if they last for 10 years I'm good of course tells you the sizes the 100 pound ball bearing slides which is a lot of weight for per drawer additional storage in the chest heavy duty eye frame construction 13,922 cubic inch capacity of tool storage of course proudly made in the USA this is a really beautiful toolbox and they even give you a craftsman sticker decal you can stick on it you can see here probably made in the USA I love seeing that again thank you mr. Trump nice new craftsman emblem nice new drawers comes with the owner's manual for that information Here's your 100 pound slides, and them are heavy duty slides right there. Really impressive compared to the, the gray toolbox that I just put in my truck for, you know, bouncing around, wear and tear, grab and go type of stuff. Uh, it couldn't hold the weight of sockets. I mean, I had half inch drives in it and it couldn't hold the weight on it because it was made in China. These made in America, these are like the big thick filing cabinet style drawers. These are some heavy duty drawers right here. Plenty of space. And they do have keys for the top and the bottom. So make, you know, you'll have two of each. That way you can keep up with them. It does have soft pull technology. So, not technology, but you know what I mean. Soft drawers. Because you can pull it out and release it. And it sucks it right back in. As you can see. So you got to pull gently. Pulls it open. All kinds of storage space here. I will post all the details, all the schematics and stuff, the the size, the depth, the width, all that in the description box below. 100 pound soft close ball bearing slides, 650 pound capacity, 4 by 5 by 1.5 inch casters. I like having all these drawers. Now they do have different ones. They do have the kind with the lid that pops up and it has your ports for your USBs and your plug-ins and your laptop computers and all that stuff for the garage setting. So if you want one for your garage, they got those. And it's got the big shaft hanger on the back to where you can lock it manually from the inside and from the outside. On those, this one is your traditional style lid with the locks in the back side as the lid closes. And you lock that lid up it will not let these open at all so as long as that lids closed now you open it up and you'll be able to open your drawers I'm gonna fill this thing up see what she looks like all right now so far this is just what I had out of my other box this is just my personal home box this isn't including the box that I got in my truck full of tools it's not including my boat repair box my industrial box that i got at work or the stuff that i got at the backwoods hippie garage and look at this these are all deep welds deep welds i've got my my half inch drive 12 point right here is going to go my half inch drive six point here's the what well, that was the metric here is the standard 12 point half drive the standard six point half drive and then i've got a array of metric standard 3h drives right here 6.12.6.12.6.6 point and then down here is my quarter inch drive these are all deep welds and then over here some more deep welds here's my other two craftsman sets not counting the other two sets i've got i'm getting ready to put in here my little box of miscellaneous stuff and then you're going to pull open the drawer here and you're going 
So you see the universal sockets right here. And then I have got the grip tight sockets. I've got some eight point sockets. I got my regular quarter inch drives. And then these are all my three H drives. Also the same thing, all back through here is my standard. Through here is my metric. And it goes from 12 to six points back and forth. All down through here, as you can see. And there's my ratchet that goes with that. My spinner handles, my other sockets. These drawers have a lot of room and it's really deep. It can fit in the closet. Here's my craftsman sockets. I got all of them right here. Back here's the cobalt right here. Then I got the extensions, the spinner handle, some breaker bars, uh, more extensions, big breaker bar. Then over here is the all the gear wrench, the 120 XPs. Here's some Pittsburgh Pro specialty ratchets double-sided ratchet stubby ratchet and then of course half inch drive is right here same thing i've got the metric standard these are all 12 points right now i got some more deep welds right here in the magnetic tray here's all my swivels and then here is the gear wrench sockets that i've got move down to the next drawer and so far i'm a these are the tool reviews i'll put in the link in the description box below the new cobalt screwdrivers that just picked up the new cobalt adjustable wrenches this does not include the gear wrench that's going to be going in here the gear wrench screwdrivers the gear wrench pliers the channel locks that i've got and i haven't even got down to the last drawer on the top half yet not not to mention everything that i'm going to be putting in all these bottom drawers such as the drills the impacts all that sort of stuff this toolbox for less than four hundred dollars and it's nice and wide it's got the carrying handles and this is it's an extremely heavy toolbox i mean it, it took some effort to pick this thing up and set it down here and it's heavy duty casters and just with the top half in it it rolls perfectly fine i mean i can move it around no problem at all Anybody looking for a serious toolbox, instead of spending thousands of dollars on snap-on, because it is a ridiculous price for snap-on toolboxes, this is the basics for anybody. It holds all your stuff. You could use it as a service cart. You could take them apart. You can actually get the middle section here and stack it up. They got the boxes that they sell. It's got the three drawers in them, the three deep specialty drawers for big stuff. And it'll raise this thing up. Like I said, they got different versions of these toolboxes. They got the wide, they got the long, they got the short, they got the kind with the wood on top. They got the kind for the USB ports. But for all intents and purposes, for the price of this thing at Lowe's right now on sale, I recommend it. I recommend going and getting it. This is a really well-made sturdy toolbox i'm very impressed on the other craftsman box the chinese craftsman box you could pull this thing back and bend it back and forth real easy this moves of course if you put some force on it but it doesn't bend the sides out like it does the other one the drawers are heavy duty they they don't give at all i mean the drawers themselves the sliders that they've got on here holds all these tools without a problem it's a really impressive toolbox. And any do-it-yourselfer, you want a starter box, starting out to be a mechanic, starting out in your garage, I recommend this. There's no sense in going out here and spending a fortune on other toolboxes. This is an American-made product by a company that had a really good reputation for American brands, and they're coming back to manufacture American brands again. So I recommend them, folks. I mean, this is a, it, it's impressive. It really is. It's more than what I expected for what I'm getting. It holds a lot more. It's really deep. I mean, it's real deep inside. So if you want to put this inside of a closet, you can stick it right inside of a closet. As you can see, there's one behind it there. It would fit in one, but it holds all this stuff. So this is going to serve me well. So until next time, I will do more tool reviews. I'll be uploading more videos. You want to check it out? Subscribe. I'm not endorsed. I'm not paid to do this. I'm not given tools. I'm not given anything to review. I do it on my own. I buy my own stuff. In this case, my wife took my money and bought this for me. 
but just like you know it's our anniversary and i really appreciated it it's a hell of an anniversary gift so let me know what you think and uh enjoy <laughs>